Hey guys, how are you all? My name is Harshit Devadi friends and I welcome you back to my video. So in this video friends, I will be discussing with you Solstice and Equinoxes. Basically, this Solstice and Equinoxes will help you to understand how seasons change. However, the exact range of change of seasons in both the hemisphere, that is the Northern Hemisphere and Southern Hemisphere will be detailed by me after you know in some another video so in this video friends i'll be talking about the solstice and equinoxes and this is basically related with the change in the length of day and night across the full year okay and on what particular day the largest day falls and what particular day the length of the night and day are equal so all of these things will be discussed by me so this is presented by me friends if you want to follow me the link of my Instagram profile is given in the description box below. Also friends, this video is in English. So if you want to watch the Hindi version of the video, the link of it is also given in the description box below. Now, first of all, friends, you need to know what Equinox is. Now see friends, Equinox is that condition when the plane of the Earth equator, you know, the equator is the middle latitude of the Earth. Okay, friends. Now, if the plane of the equator of the earth matches with the center of the sun friends then obviously that becomes equinox because if both of these things matches friends then it will be exactly equal day and night okay this is the point but see i will uh, explain it with the help of uh, this thing but see this is equinox these two are equinox position now this is the equator this is the equator so this equator is matching with the earth center Similarly, this equator is also matching with the earth center. So this is the condition of, you know, coincidence of equator and the center of the sun and that becomes equinox. This is autumnal equinox on September 20 to 23 and this is spring or vernal equinox on March 2021. Now this is spring, autumn, this will change according to the hemisphere when we talk about the seasons. Here we are not talking about the seasons. Here we are talking about just equinox. So for equinox, this is the set standard okay friends so coming back to the definition the definition says that it is commonly regarded as the instant of the time when the plane of the earth equator passes through the center of the sun and this occurs twice it happens on around 20 and 21st of march and then 22nd or 23rd of september so these are the probable dates on which it fall okay friends and in march it is known as vernal or spring equinox in september it is known as autumnal or fall equinox but see so this is autumnal equinox this is vernal equinox now you know about what equinox is now what is a solstice friends and from that solstice you we will also one answer one more question the question is that for how many times in a year the center of the sun will coincide with the earth's equator so that the answer is two the reason is that friends that is one you know if we talk about the apparent movement of the sun so the sun's apparent movement will be from if we compare it to the equator if we compare it to the latitude of the earth so it will be from tropic of cancer to tropic of capricorn that is apparent movement of the center of the sun will be tropic of cancer to tropic of capricorn in between it there will be the movement now from tropic of cancer to tropic of capricorn the sun will pass the equator once and then from tropic of capricorn to tropic of cancer the sun will again pass the equator once so obviously in one complete year that is 365 days that is that time in which earth takes a revolution of the earth okay of the sun when the earth takes the revolution of the sun in 365 days sun will actually cross the equator twice and that date i have already told you 22nd 23rd september 20 and 21st of march now when we talk about solstice what happens in solstice friends first let's have, have a look at the definition it is an event when the sun appears to reach its most northerly position or southerly position with respect to the celestial equator and with respect to the equator the northerly excursion the northerly limit of the sun will be the tropic of cancer and with respect to the celestial equator the southerly position maximum position of the sun will be the tropic of capricorn so the sun will be above the tropic of cancer on june 21 and the sun will be above the tropic of capricorn on december 21 so this is the thing that you need to understand friends and also the seasons will also depend upon these upon the transition between these equinoxes and solstice so the transition between equinoxes and solstice will also design will also decide the seasons friends see now coming back here see here 
दिस इज द इक्वेटर फ्रेंड्स एंड जस्ट अवर द इक्वेटर इज द ट्रॉपिक ऑफ कैंसर ओके नो हियर इज द इक्वेटर एंड जस्ट बिलो इट इज द ट्रॉपिक ऑफ केपेकॉन नो सी द नॉर्थ हेमिसफियर इज पॉइंटिंग टूवर्ड्स द सन नो इन द नॉर्दर्न हेमिसफियर you can see friends that this north pole is towards the sun and this south pole is away from the sun so south pole is away from the sun it is in darkness and it will remain in darkness for 6 months of the year but that is a topic of a different video i will be discussing that in the different video now this tropic of cancer plain latitude will be matching with the center of the sun and when the <coughs> northern most position of the sun that is the sun center is pointing and is exactly coinciding with the latitude tropic of cancer this becomes the summer solstice friends and this is that day which is the longest day in the northern hemisphere this normally falls on 21st of june with coincides with the international yoga day why international yoga day is celebrated on 21st of june because this is the longest day of the year friends okay so you can see it here now when this movement will be come here the equator will come in between and obviously it will match with the center of the sun it will become equinox and then it will come here now when the earth will come here friends here you can see that now the sun is above the tropic of capricorn so now the center of the sun's plane is matching with the latitude tropic of capricorn so if it is matching with the tropic of capricorn you can see the more amount of light is present in the southern hemisphere and this 21 this 21 and 22 of december will be the longest day in southern hemisphere now just there is a corollary friends when there is a longest day in northern hemisphere it will be the shortest day in southern hemisphere that is on 21st of june when it is the longest day in the northern hemisphere it will be the shortest day in the southern hemisphere and just to do the opposite friends when the sun is above the tropic of capricorn on 21 and 22 of december so this becomes the longest day in southern hemisphere and when this becomes the longest day in southern hemisphere it becomes the shortest day in northern hemisphere friends you need to understand it okay so this is the point when the center of the earth is coinciding with the equator so it becomes equinox so equinox i have told you and when it is going towards its northerly extreme that is at the tropic of cancer on 21st of june that becomes the summer solstice now why this is summer solstice and why this is winter solstice because we are taking the reference as which hemisphere northern hemisphere because in northern hemisphere on 21st of june this is summers so this is known as summer solstice however in southern hemisphere on this 21st of december it is summers and in southern hemisphere it is the longest day but at the same time in the northern hemisphere it is winters so this is why this 21st and 22 december is known as winter solstice because despite of the fact that in southern hemisphere it is summers in northern hemisphere it is winters and all the statistical analysis all the reference all the base that we are taking we are taking it with reference to the northern hemisphere friends so this is the reason this 21st june is known as summer solstice because at that point of time there is summer in northern hemisphere and when this winter solstice is taking place on 21st of december there are summers in southern hemisphere but despite of that it is known as winter solstice reason is that at that point of time there are winters in northern hemisphere so this you have to take into consideration friends some more facts as i have already told you solstice are those moments when either the earth or either the sun is at the extreme latitude of earth uh, northwards or downwards that is the tropic of capricorn and cancer in case of north it is Capri it is cancer in case of south it becomes tropic of capricorn the dates are june 20 or 21 and winter solstice 21 december or 22 december okay and obviously the seasons are also reverse see friends whatever the seasons will be there in the normal uh, northern hemisphere exactly the opposite season opposite seasons will be there in the southern hemisphere now this you need to understand why this is happening friends see this is very simple to understand if you are going to look at this position friends you can see the most of the sunlight is located in the southern hemisphere so obviously northern hemisphere will be witnessing winter so when there are winters in northern hemisphere there are summers in southern hemisphere and when there are summers in northern hemisphere there are winters in southern hemisphere for example you will see that many a times the indian cricket team goes to play in australia at the time of december and january 
okay at this point of time also when i am making this video in december india is having a tour in australia so it is winters in india but it is summers in australia because australia is in southern hemisphere friends and that is why autumns and spring seasons in northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere will also reverse automatically so this is the logic behind it friends but seasons is a different thing so seasons changes transitions in winters in summers in northern in southern hemisphere all of these things so when uh, season transformation is a topic of a separate video i will deal with this separately so i hope this solstice and equinoxes are clear to you friends if you have any doubts you can ask me in the comment section below also friends i would like you to like the video <coughs> if you really liked it subscribe to my channel and please comment and tell me how you like this video so thank you friends have a great day goodbye